Hey guys, what is up? Spiff here. And as you may know, I just upgraded my computer. So while I was going through and optimizing my computer to give me the best possible performance, I thought I'd record it and make a video for you guys to maybe help you out. You don't have to do this on a fresh build. You can do this on your old computer and it would work just as well. This is going to be a lengthy video, so I'm going to go pretty quick. If you have any questions about a specific part, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try to respond to you as quick as possible. Okay, so the first two steps are just suggestions, but I would suggest one, doing this on a fresh install of Windows. Second, I would make that fresh install of Windows a copy of Windows 10. Now, if you're worried about the high price point of an operating system, never fear. I was on eBay and I found this guy selling Windows 10 keys for only $4. Now, when you do this, make sure that you check the user's reputation and that you check how many items they sold to make sure that it's in like at least the hundreds. So it's not a spam bot giving them good reputation so they could rip you off. This guy, however, was good. My key worked. I'll leave a link in the description down below to this exact person so you guys could get your copy from them if it's still available. But now let's get to it. If you have an SSD, you can skip this next part. There'll be timestamps in the description down below. Feel free to just skip ahead. For hard drive users, we're going to be short stroking your hard drive to get the best performance out of it. So go in the first link in the video description and download HD Tune. Once you have it downloaded and installed, run the program and you're going to want to just select your hard drive that you want to be your boot drive. If you only have one hard drive, this is pretty simple. Just select your main hard drive. Once the hard drive is selected, hit start in the top right and then just let it run. Once it's done, you'll see this graph and you should be able to depict a pattern of when your hard drive goes from pretty quick and it starts going at a downward slope. Now at the bottom, it'll tell you what gigabyte that was where it started to slow down. For me, it was around 200 gigabytes on my one terabyte hard drive. So I'm going to short stroke my hard drive at 200 gigabytes. So on the right hand side in HD tune, you can make a note of what your maximum speed and your minimum speed is, and then hit the checkbox that says short stroke, and then select it to whatever gigabyte you think your hard drive was performing best at. Once you do that, then just hit start again, let it run through again, and you should see a much cleaner and higher performing pattern. Now, once you found your hard drive sweet spot, it's time to do your fresh install of Windows. When Windows asks you what hard drive you would like to select, select your hard drive that you want to be your boot drive, but first create a new partition that is the size of your hard drive sweet spot. If you're interested of how and why this works, I'll leave a video in the description down below kind of explaining it in further detail. After your fresh install of Windows, it's time to install your drivers. When you install your drivers, make sure not to install any bloatware. I noticed that my motherboard primarily had a bunch of different softwares that it was trying to get me to download. Make sure you're downloading only the drivers that you need for your computer to operate at its peak performance. Okay, this next part is pretty lengthy, so I'm going to make it quick. Go to Windows, hit the little cog to go to Settings, go to System, go to Notification and Actions, and you want to untick all of these except for the first one. Next up, Tablet Mode, hit Use Desktop Mode, and then Don't Ask Me, and then hit Off and Off. Shared Experience, turn that off. Next up, go to Personalize. On the left-hand side, go down to Start, and then uncheck Occasionally Show Suggestions in Start. After that, go to apps. For the apps and features, you want to leave allow apps from anywhere. And then you can go through here and just uninstall any of the bloatware that Windows wants to push on you, like Minecraft, don't need it. The news, don't need it. Just uninstall any of these that you will never use because it's just going to be taking up space on your hard drive. And now that we partitioned our disk, hard drive space is very important. Next up, go to Offline Maps, go ahead and delete all maps, and uncheck Map Updates. Next, go to Date and Time, and I just uncheck Set Time Automatically and Auto Adjust for Daylight Savings. Next up, go to Gaming, turn off Game Bar, uncheck these two boxes, Game DVR, off. I uncheck Capture Mouse Cursors, just basically turn everything off in this section. Ease of Access, go down to Other Options uncheck play animations in windows then go to cortana and basically i turn everything with cortana off i'll go into more detail with that in the future for permission history i like to turn my safe search off and i uncheck these two 
notifications off privacy this is the big one just go ahead and shut all those off go down to location make sure that everything is off here and clear the history go ahead and go to camera turn that off microphone off just keep going down the list turning everything off once you get the feedback diagnostics leave it on basic make sure that is ticked to off and then windows feedback never background applications if you don't use Microsoft Edge, you can just click the off at the top. If you do use Microsoft Edge, click everything except for that. Lastly, app diagnostic off. Next, go to update and security. On the left hand side, go to Windows Defender. Hit open Windows Defender. On the left hand side, hit the little shield. Go down to virus and threat protection settings. Click that. Leave the first one ticked and then uncheck the next two. The next one I'm sure a lot of you have done, go into your search bar and type system. On the left hand side, go to advanced system settings. Under advanced, go to performance options. Under performance options, visual effects, go to custom. And I usually only click show thumbnails instead of icon. Once you've done that, hit apply and OK. Then go to startup and recovery and uncheck the box that says time to display list of operating systems. Once you've done that, hit apply and OK again, and we're done there. Next, go to your search bar and type in services. Once you've done that, I suggest clicking name up at the top to put them in alphabetical order so it's easier to find these. Scroll down to see distributed link tracking client, right click, properties, disable, and stop. Then hit apply and OK. Next up, go to DM WAP push service. Right click properties, disabled, stop, apply, and OK. So keep doing this to every single one that I mentioned. The next one is going to be connected user experience in telemetry. Disabled, stop, apply, OK. Then go to background intelligence transfer service or bits, property, disabled, stop, apply, and OK. Next up, super fetch. Do the same thing. Next, go to Windows Search. This one I do not disable. I make it manual, and then I hit Stop, and then hit Apply and OK. The next one that we're going to do is Windows Update. Again, I make this one manual, and then I hit Stop, Apply and OK. Once you've done that, you are done with Windows Services. You go ahead and exit out. Next up, we're going to disable Cortana. So go ahead and go to Search, and type in Reg Edit. Once Reg Edit opens up, go ahead and go to H key Local Machine. Then go to software, go down to policies, Microsoft, and then go to Windows. Under Windows, you're going to want to right click and type in new key. You're going to want to rename that key Windows Search. Make sure that there's a space in between and both of the words first letter is capitalized. Once you do that, select Windows Search, right click inside, and then hit new D word value and make sure it's the 32 bit. Even if you have a 64 bit system, make sure it's 32 bit. Now rename that value, allow with a capital A, Cortana with a capital C, and make sure there's no space in between. Once you do that, you could double click on it and you'll see that the value is zero. You want to leave that value at zero, hit OK, and now you can exit out of RegEdit. Next up, go to the second link in the description to Easy Service Optimizer. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and hit the gray download button. Once the software is downloaded and installed, I like to move the folder to my documents and save it. That way I can always reopen up the software later without having to re-download it. Now run the software and you're going to see a few tabs at the bottom. One says default, one says safe, tweaked, and extreme. Me personally, I go ahead and I just click the extreme. If you're worried about that, you can always hit the safe one. Uh, but I hit the extreme and then you go up to the top left and hit the little rocket ship looking emblem. And what that's going to do is run the program and it's going to go through and shut down all unnecessary services in the background. Now, if you do do this and you run into an issue, you could always relaunch the program, go back to default and hit the rocket ship again. But I've been running it on extreme this whole time and I've never had an issue. Uh, if I do run into a service that I need turned back on, I just go and I turn it back on. So now that we have all this done and we're starting to get some stuff downloaded on our computer, it's time to right click our taskbar and go to task manager. Once you do that, hit the startup tab in the top 
go through and I just disable everything from starting up in the beginning. This is gonna ensure that my system boot time is as fast as possible, which is what I aim for in case a game crashes or something and I need to hop back in real quick so I don't leave my friends hanging. I need to have my system boot up as fast as possible. Now this video did take me a lot longer than expected to explain the system optimization part. So the more specific gaming stuff is gonna be in a part two. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button and let me know that you are liking these videos. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much. This has been Spiff and I'm out. Peace.